If you dabble at all in crypto, I think it's critical that you understand the difference between custodial and non-custodial wallets. It's very simple. The terminology may seem confusing at first glance, but just bear with me. This will be a fairly short video, and I think you'll get a, a clear, concrete idea of why it might be important. You've undoubtedly heard the phrase, no keys, no crypto, and that implies to holding your keys, your private keys, which if you're not familiar with that, that's covered uh, in another video by many other people across the entire YouTube. But nonetheless, the keys are the gateway to controlling your crypto tokens. And these keys uh, must be kept secret and protected. And there's different ways to do that. If you're using a custodial method of keeping track of your keys, basically you don't own the keys. They are on an exchange that has the keys. And you may be able to see them or see the seed phrase, uh, things like that. But in essence, uh, the crypto is there and you don't have control of it. If an exchange gets hacked or goes down, uh, there's a good chance that you're going to permanently lose some crypto. A non-custodial wallet it comes in a variety of forms. It can be a software wallet. It can be a cold wallet, hardware wallet. There's a variety of options in that regard, and they all come with different degrees of risk and different ways of controlling and accessing them. But a non-custodial wallet means that there is not a custodian holding your keys. You control the keys. You're responsible for keeping uh, them safe, uh, not losing them, and not sharing them. Those are just critical elements of just general good private key etiquette. In another video, I'll talk about some different options for non-custodial storage. I'm not uh, going to share that in this video here. It gets a little bit uh, nuanced in terms of, of how you do that. And there are also some multi-sig options, which just means multiple signatures uh, required. Um, N of M, essentially. A certain number of signatures uh, out of a set are required to access the um, crypto token. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, dig around on the interwebs if you're still confused about the topic, but it's critical to understand when you're getting started in crypto in terms of keeping uh, keys safe.